I think that what we need is more attitude. I think we need more guys taking less shortcuts, um, trying to outthink their way into, outthink their way out of situations. I think we need somebody that, if you tell them there's a brick wall right there and the running back's gonna be there, they're not trying to go around the brick wall. They're trying to go through the brick wall. And I think that that's what we're missing. Like guys are trying to find ways around contact and trying to do a lot of the arm tackling and stuff. On a team, I fight to win. You got a bunch of bitches on the roster. They don't fight to win. They just want to push and shove. You can't win with that. You don't need linebackers that use forks and knives. I want linebackers that eat with their hands. You know what I'm saying? I don't want motherfuckers that worry about how your shoes look. Come on and play. What's going on, Cowboys Nation? It's your boy DMV back with another one. You guys know that I released a video yesterday about the Cowboys being soft. And then <laughs> right in the middle of that, I think they had some things in the works to not be soft because they just signed Rashawn Evans uh, late evening yesterday. They brought him in for a physical. And I think it's exactly what the Cowboys needed, man. I think it's exactly what they needed. And like I, like I talked about in the old video, man, they need somebody that's gonna run through a brick wall, that's gonna actually share blocks, that's not gonna try and run around it, that's not gonna try and find the right angle to avoid contact. They need somebody that's gonna meet the contact and not drag us back three to four yards. Because that's what happened last week. You know, when our guys got hit, they stopped right there. You know what I'm saying? They got stopped right at that moment. When we were tackling, guys were dragging us three to four yards. We were arm tackling. And as Martellus Bennett said, we don't need linebackers that eat with forks and knives. We need linebackers that eat with their hands. And I'll always remember that quote because I think that it's such a great quote for a football team. You need certain positions that just have grit. And we haven't had that for a while. We haven't had that for a long time. And I think it's by design for some odd reason. We tried to get cute this, this year. And one of the linebackers that we did have that ate with his hands, we let him go. We thought we were going to get him back. And, and, and Devin Harper is not here anymore. You know what I'm saying? I never thought that he got his fair shake at the position. But with the LVE out, now all of a sudden, you know, you don't have much of a choice out there. You got to go with what's the best out there. Rashawn Evans had 159 combined tackles last year. That's more than any year that Leighton Vander Esch has ever had. Even that Leighton Vander Esch at its height. That's more than that. You saw the clips that I just showed you. Not only is that, the guy is physical. Now, you'll hear people say, well, he can't cover. He can't do this. He can't do that. At this point, I need somebody... That's going to punch somebody in the mouth. We talked about it all off season. We need bodyguards. All right. LVE ain't nobody damn bodyguard. All right. Much as we love him, he ain't nobody damn bodyguard. But in the middle, that's what you need. Mike is going to have to play some backer. Cool. Mike is going to have to be his own bodyguard. Because at this point, nobody protected him last week. We were getting drug all over the field. We need some tone setters. I think that Rashawn Evans is a tone setter. That I, I I've always believed that. I've always I wanted Rashawn Evans over LVE. That's a fact. That's why I got upset on draft night. Do I think LVE has had some good years? I do think LVE has had some good years when he's been healthy. But this is always what happens. He gets hurt, and then we're soul searching. You want to know why? Because this front office and now this coaching staff. They're always looking for guys that he can mold. They're never looking for guys that can come in and compete with him. They're just comfortable there. They've been comfortable at the linebacker position for quite some time. I'm hoping that Rashawn Evans can come in here and, and make them make that position uncomfortable because that's what happened when Micah emerged. D-Law was out. Uh, 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 somebody else was out, and they had to put Micah down. And that made them that made them uncomfortable there and he had to keep adding there that's what i hope happens at this linebacker position 
I hope Rashawn Evans is able to come in here and make things uncomfortable and make them realize they've been doing this long for a, a while. And I thought that the wake-up call was before this even coaching staff happened. When Sean Lee went out and we got a Rolando McClain. And Rolando McClain was that type of guy who ate with his hands, who came from a, pedig a pedigree school where it was toughness. Your linebackers in the middle have to be tough. No, I get it, though. You know, we, 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 we got cute. And for certain teams, it works where you can put a safety down there, a linebacker, and it'll work. But what happens when you get a big guy on them? It's hard for them to shed. And and Boss told me that a while ago. I kind of ignored it because I just, I believed in Dan Quinn. But when we've been pushed around a couple times and you see that teams are attacking it, now you got to try and figure out something else or you got to figure out something else with your roster. And Rashawn Evans, hopefully he's the start of that. I do like the direction of it. I do like his toughness. That's the one thing that I do like that he brings. I think we can figure out everything outside of that. But he brings something that we don't have right now. Right now, we're soft. We're going to have to come out of that. Can the team that has been playing soft eventually, you know, uh, callous and, and, hard, and, 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 you know, become a, a tougher team? Absolutely, they can. When you get the right adversity and when you get tired of getting punched in the mouth, you can become that. Hopefully, Rashawn Evans can add the veteran presence. He can add the toughness that we need at that position. But I appreciate you guys for tuning in, man. I'm out. Peace.